This time, I'm going to talk about begin classifier tuning with Python. Ensemble machine learning can be mainly categorized into bagging and boosting. The bagging technique is used for both regression and statistical classification. Bagging is used with decision tree, where it significantly raises the stability of the model in the reduction of variance and improving accuracy. Bagging also is called bootstrap aggregating. This shows the bagging flow or bootstrap aggregation. Mainly, there are two steps in bagging flow. One is bootstrapping, another one is aggregation. Now we know bagging is composed of two parts, bootstrapping and aggregation. Bootstrapping is a sampling method where a sample is chosen out of set using the replacement method. That means we have training data here. We will take up sample 1 from this training set and build this bootstrap sample 1. The sample data can be used over and over again. So same sample can be used twice in this bootstrap sample 1. And then we will use this bootstrap sample 1 feed in the learning algorithm and get our result classifier 1. With the same method, we will choose sample data from training set to build bootstrap sample 2. Again, we will feed all those sample data into the same learning algorithm and get our result, that is classifier 2. With the same method, we will choose bootstrap sample over and over again and we will calculate classifier 1, classifier 2, so and so on. Then we will do aggregation. Model predictions undergo aggregation to combine them for a final prediction to consider all the outcomes possible. That is, from our bootstrapping, we have classifier 1, classifier 2, classifier 3, so on and so on. We will consider all the results and to get our combined classifier. And from this combined classifier, we will have our prediction. Then, what is the advantages and disadvantages of bagging? Random forest is one of the most popular bagging algorithms. Bagging offers the advantage of allowing many weak learners to combine efforts to outdo a single strong learner. It also helps in the reduction of violence. Hence, eliminating the outfitting of models in the procedure. There are mainly three disadvantages of bagging. One disadvantage of bagging is that sometimes it is hard to interpret the model. And the model can experience lots of bias when the proper procedure is ignored. Despite bagging being highly accurate, it can be computationally expensive.
In this video, I'm going to show you two small models with bagging technique. A random subspace ensemble is an extension to bagging that involves fitting ensemble members based on data sets constructed from random subsets of the features in the training data set. In this video, I'm going to show you how can we divide it, the sample data into subspaces and find out the best number of subspaces for a model. The second small model, we are going to use decision trees. An important hyperparameter for the bagging algorithm is the number of decision tree used in the ensemble. I'm going to show you how can we decide the best number of trees we should use for our model. Okay, let's go to Python to see how we can implement them. Okay, now let's take a look at our first model. In this model, we are going to divide our sample data into subspaces and we will decide the best number of subspace for our model. First, we will generate the data set and then get the model and then we will evaluate all those models and print out the mean of the scores and the standard deviation of the scores. For our data, we have 1,000 sample data and we have 20 features. Let's use feature number from 1 to 20 and then evaluate all those models. Let's run the program. You can see if we use one feature, we will have the mean score 0 0.545 and the standard deviation 0 0.043. And with two feature, we have those mean value and standard deviation of our score. If we draw a graph, you can see when we increase number of features, the mean score also increase. But around 10, if we increase number of features, the score doesn't change much. And even when we increase number of features to like 16 or 17, the score decrease and this bar shows the standard deviation of our score. You can see around 10 or 11 we will reach the best score for our model. So when we build our model maybe we use 10 features or 11 features and we definitely don't need all 20 features. Okay, now let's take a look at our second model. Similarly, in the second model, we also have 1000 sample data and we have 20 features. And we have 15 independent features among all those 20 features. And the steps are also similar. We will get data set and get our model and then evaluate our model. And then we print out the mean score 
and the standard deviation of the scroll. When we build this tree, we will build the tree with the number of 10, 15, 100, 500, 500, 1,000, and 5,000. Okay, let's run the program. You can see if it's 10 trees, we have mean score 0 0.862 and standard deviation 0 0.036 and if we increase the steps to 50 the mean score will increase to 0 0.879 so you can see the improvement if we increase the number of trees and with 100 trees we will have score 0 0.883 and with 500 trees we will have score 0 0.883 and the standard deviation of the score goes up a little bit and then it came down basically remained the same When we increased number of trees to 5,000, the mean score even dropped. So when we build our model, maybe we need to stop number of trees to around 100 or 500, and we definitely doesn't need to go to 1,000 or 5,000 because the performance will be worsened if we have too many number of trees. This is how I do bagging classifier tuning with Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.